One major red flag that somebody likes the empathy to care about you is they are forever joking. Only these jokes are always at your expense. However, they do it in such a way that makes you feel like you're the one that's causing the problems, which distracts you from the fact that they're causing the pain within you. As we can have people who like to mess around, who like to joke around. And when both parties are in on it, it's, it's a mutual understanding. And if they have the empathy to care about the other person, they'd recognise when perhaps they might have pushed the other person too far and they would rein their own behaviour back in and they'd make sure that the other person is okay. There is having jokes, there is having humour, there is making light of life, making light of difficult situations. And then there is narcissistic people who are going to purposefully taunt you, humiliate you, criticise you, mock you, judge you. And then when you naturally get offended they're going to accuse you of being unable to take a joke. When you, when they say something that hurts your feelings and you begin to get upset by what they've said, they have an inability to understand how their words or their actions have hurt your feelings. Instead, they just turn around and blame you. They turn around and accuse you of being too sensitive to the situation. So you're being gaslighted into questioning your emotional reactions rather than judging their actions. When a narcissist provokes you to a point where you have an emotional breakdown on them, they might comfort you in a manner of taking you to the doctors and getting you on those antidepressants. However, they will be playing the martyr with all those people around you about just how helpful they've been, just how much they have to put up with, just how much they're doing for you. So people believe in the narcissist lies rather than recognising what the narcissist is actually doing to you. Often it's not until you are out of the situation that you recognise just how badly they were treating you and that your depression was underpinned by the very dynamics of the relationship that you once found yourself stuck in. And once away from that relationship, you can begin to think clearly for yourself again. Narcissistic people can come and seemingly just play around with you. They might whip up a towel and slash you around the legs or jab you in the sides. And some people can do this as a bit of a joke and a bit of fun. And if it goes too far, one person might say, that's enough now, that hurt. And the other person would just be, you okay? And it's just something some people do. When it's in the dynamics of a narcissistic relationship, they get pleasure out of your pain and they're seeking to see just how much pain they can cause you before you turn around and ask them to stop. However, when you turn around and ask them to stop, they're going to make out that your response, asking them to stop, is the problem. They're going to play the victim in the situation. They're going to turn it around and, oh, what's wrong with you? Can't you take a joke? Oh, you're always in a bad mood. Oh, you need to light it up. We can never have a laugh. So that you feel like there is something wrong with you rather than recognising that they've pushed it too far and there's something wrong with the fact that they lack the compassion and the understanding to recognise that they've hurt you. When you turn around to a genuine person and say, that's enough now, it's gone a bit too far, most genuine people just be like, okay, 
and then you just get on with your day. Narcissistic people are going to sulk at you and fall silent on you and turn around and I'm not going there with you, not with the mood you're in. Narcissistic people are the kinds of people that are going to do something that perhaps is morally wrong and when you question them about it they just turn around and say I'll stop taking life so seriously stop overreacting because they're looking to exaggerate your reactions so that they can downplay their actions towards you when somebody humiliates you when somebody mocks you when somebody taunts you, when somebody criticises you, when somebody belittles you, when somebody hurts you messing around and then gets offended when you speak up for yourself, this shows that they lack the empathy to care for how their words or their actions might have crossed a line and might have hurt your feelings. They're more interested in playing the victim so that you find yourself giving them the attention, trying to make it up to them. Narcissistic people want to be superior, so they will use just human nature of playing around, messing around, to show you how much physically stronger they are than you, so that they can feel superior, to make you feel inferior. And this is a time where our instincts might just feel unease. And because you believe you're with somebody who cares about you, you might just say, hang on a minute, that they don't validate how they're hurting you. They invalidate how they're hurting you by blaming your reactions as to being the problem within the situation. Narcissistic people tend to go all out to push you past your limits. And then once they've got you there, once they've got that emotional reaction from you, they stand back all calm and watch you. They stand back all calm and completely cut off from you. They have no willingness to be supportive of you. You can have some something drastic happen within your family and go to speak to them about this and they come up with something very inappropriate inappropriate or they they laugh about the matter and it's not a case of an unease where they, they don't quite know what to say so they're nervous and they giggle it's the fact that they're getting pleasure out of the pain and the suffering of other people and they can't admit to this they can't admit to the fact that they lack empathy instead they just turn around and criticize you and they turn around and blame you they turn around and accuse you of being unable to take a joke of not being able to lighten up as people can play jokes on each other, as people can play pranks on each other, as people can have that nervous laugh, as people can give someone what they believe to be constructive criticism but actually offends the other person. We often don't read too much into the narcissist gaslighting us on how they are treating us. Instead, we question our ability to be able to take a, a joke. We question our emotional reactions. And each time the narcissist gets away with one thing, they escalate things. So they, they slowly groom you to adapt, to live in an environment that is incredibly toxic. However, as they can treat you so well and as they bring it in so slowly, you don't recognise the place they've got you into until you are out of it. 
Because the thing is with narcissistic people, whenever you try to approach them about how something they have done has made you feel, they are going to make out that your feelings are wrong, which confuses you and makes you question and doubt yourself instead of questioning their behaviour towards you. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support and understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.